Nearly 20 years ago in October 2005, Apple released the high-res PowerBook G4 in a 15 and 17 inch variant. These machines came standard with either 60 or 80 gigs of hard drive storage, and at the time SSDs were only starting to gain popularity in the consumer market. Nowadays, most laptops start with 256 gigs of SSD storage with varying form factors and not all are user upgradable. Today, I'll be installing a 1TB MSATA SSD, giving this notebook over 10 times the storage it originally shipped with. Looks like I forgot to shut this thing down. Let me do that real quick. All right. Now that this computer is shut down, let's go ahead and set up the workbench. Got two more over here. Let's try this one. Nope. Sometimes it's a little tricky guessing the sizes. Hey, there we go. Now you probably noticed this doesn't match with this. That's because when I first got an MSATA SSD for this PowerBook G4, I actually got a Bing Ogo SSD with one of these in it. It had 128 gigs, but turns out this is a generic IDE to MSATA adapter, which works with basically any capacity, any SSD, it seems. Now the question is, will it boot? Let's find out. It's a good sign. So far, so good. Got the Apple logo, and we're off. In system profiler, the Fengsheng SSD shows up uh, exactly as it's supposed to. It all started when I wanted to cram all my metal music CDs into a portable older Mac. I realized the collection would take up a decent amount of space and wanted to do more than just have a music collection on a smaller drive. SSDs offer faster seek times, lower idle power consumption, and silence. Now that's music to my ears. The computer is certainly more responsive with this upgrade, can do more light web browsing, and even YouTube in 10.5.2. Check it out. One core, one thread, only 1.67 gigahertz and still streaming in 2024. And if we run a Xbench test real quick, the SSD is clearly capable of far better speeds, but this PowerBook G4 is limited by a regular ATA IDE bus. With the growing problem of electronic waste, anti-writer repair laws, and planned obsolescence, hanging on to our devices is a way to speak back to the market as a consumer. While any hardware must be competent in order to run the software, as consumers we have a choice. While the high-res PowerBook J4 isn't particularly common, there is a glut of used consumer electronics out there, from old graphics cards, laptops, anything really. I believe in the long-term value of electronic hardware, especially if its functionality helps you get things done. And that's part of the reason why I put a 1TB SSD into my high-res PowerBook G4. Thank you everyone for taking time out of your day to watch this computer project of mine. Uh, please leave a like as it helps the algorithm and leave a comment. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to see more videos like this. I personally enjoy taking things apart and seeing what can be done with them and would love to share more ideas and projects with everyone. And with that being said, have a great rest of your day.